a woman hasn't raced in Formula One for 43 years. A new quiz racing series that won't have a single male driver in sight. And we're now talking about the W Series. W Series. The W Series. 18 women compete in six races across Europe. A new generation of women drivers are determined to take on the men at their own game. It's time for women's motorsport. The W Series aim to close the gender divide mission to find the 2019 W Series lineup starts here. A new breed of talent. We want the best to go into Formula One in future years. In uncharted waters. You will find out those who think they've got the commitment and those who truly have the commitment. I've got the determination. Passionate. Really fast. Very stubborn. Yeah! It's going to be huge. A groundbreaking championship. We don't know whether we are going to be able to create a fantastic spectacle. With everything to play for. Welcome to W Series. Kind of like, oh, and she spun around. Oh, oh. I told her to take two warm up apps. Successful drivers, they've got to be fit, they've got to be clever, they don't have to be male. Don't worry, guys, I got you it. You can't pass. And no, when I, no. If you think you're ready, you're not. No, oh, they touch. I'm not interested in finishing second. Dude, crash them. I want to win. There's a racing superstar within the ranks. Jamie Chadwick likes to visit Marta Garcia. Emma Kimelainen. If W Series doesn't succeed, we would have let down a whole generation. Before we go, okay. Where's Hamish? It's upstairs. Can you get him down? Normally, either Gordon or I are getting the ten past six train in the morning, so we're up at five five thirty. Oh, bye, darling. Okay. Have a good day at school. Are you going to be good? Yeah. Catherine Bondmuir, an ex-sports lawyer and financier, looking for a new challenge after becoming a mother. I was a massive fan of all sport. I love cricket, I love rugby, and I love Formula One. I took a complete career break. I felt as though I had to do my own thing. And this started off as a entrepreneurial idea and over the last couple of years has just completely changed into a mission. I was just having a cup of coffee with a couple of people who work in motorsport and they just said, what about a women's motor racing series? And then I did some research into it, and then I realised that the numbers of women actually racing in single-seater series was going down year on year over the past eight years. Motor racing needed to change. The enormity of trying to make this happen is obviously huge is step by step, some really key pillars were put in place, and ultimately that's about individuals. David Coulthard came involved. Our ultimate goal is to see more women as professional racers in motorsport, and this is unquestionably the best route to, to bring as many of them on as possible. One can't underestimate the real impact he's had on this business. You know, first, he introduced Sean and Sean became the cornerstone investor. First impressions of Catherine were she was very intelligent, um, and I like being in business with somebody that's got a better brain than me. One of the things I've always liked in business is looking for an idea that no one else is doing. I felt there was a little bit of momentum behind women's sport, but it hadn't quite exploded yet, and I think we're just at that tipping point. Sean was the game changer, but also the key person was Dave Ryan. I've been involved in motor racing since I was 18 years old. I was with McLaren for 34 years, and during that time, James Hunt won the World Championship. And then we had Nicky Lauder, Alain Prost, Mika Hakkinen, Kimi Raikkonen, Ayrton Senna, David Coulthard. Not only did he give us the credibility, but he just gave us the knowledge. We've got the opportunity with W Series to provide a platform for a lot of drivers who otherwise wouldn't be on the grid. Next step selecting those drivers. 
We launched across the world. We reached half a billion people. We had 47,000 articles. From there, we got about 100 applications that we could take reasonably seriously. This opportunity is unbelievable. Even me now, every so often I think, is this really happening? Okay, I'll put on this. I've never got to hold one of these before. I'm so excited. Arriving in Austria, 54 of the world's top drivers, each proving there are many paths into this process. I come from the NASCAR world. I won a Clio Cup championship in China. The youngest driver to do the Spa 24 hours. I started as a Playboy bunny. Ahead of them, three days of intense testing. Meeting so many amazing women that also shared the same passion was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. From here, just 28 will go through to the final selection in Spain to decide the W Series starting grid. I knew this is my chance. This is my chance to get the seat behind the steering wheel of single-seater. And for the series winner, a prize of half a million dollars. I don't know about anyone else. I think it was really stressful, actually, and the feeling of the unknown. But first, a chance to meet those who will decide their fate. Why were you passionate about this project? I mean... Uh, I had a younger sister, and she was six years younger than me. And uh, she's no longer here, but she was more naturally talented than I was. She raced carts like I did. I progressed into cars when I was 17, so she was 11 years old. I was picked up by Jackie Stewart, who was a former three-time world champion, and my career path towards becoming a professional really took off. And that was to the detriment of her opportunity. The family focused on me. It's difficult for the family to, to support too. And I, I always had regret that she never got that chance. His overriding reason for him being involved was his sister. I think he wanted to do something for women, actually, I think probably in her honour. In W Series, there's a chance for me now, along with the founder, along with the other members of the team, to change the fact that not enough women ultimately are given an, a real route to being professionals. We, we race with the same passion, don't we? Whether we're being paid or not. But it's a real privilege if you can turn your hobby into a professional career. And that's what I want for all of you. And that's what I would have loved for, for my sister. Excuse me. There is so much at stake here. If W Series doesn't succeed, we would have let down a whole generation of women in motorsport. We want the best of you to go on into International Formula 3, Formula 2 and Formula 1, Indie, Indie Lights. And of course, we also want you to kick the asses of men. Devised by ex-Formula 1 driver Alex Wertz, the programme over the next three days will see the drivers scrutinised on all aspects of performance. These assessments are designed to push them to the limit. Come on, Natalie both on and off the track. Hostile tests in hostile conditions. It's an opportunity for us to put them through a series of test evaluations on their driving capability, their mental preparation, their physical preparation that will lead us to who the finalists will be. By the end, half will be eliminated. Come on, keep fighting, keep pushing. Among those competing, UK stunt specialist Jess Hawkins and American karting champion Sabra Cook, both breaking the strict no-timing rules. I don't want to know if I was fast tomorrow. I want to know now. So, all timing, all time. That was fun. Are you timing everybody? She was three seconds fast, yeah. We're um, trying to keep it away from the instructors. We're like signaling to the others when they're not looking. <laughs> and the, uh, and, and as, soon as, as soon as the instructor turns around, we're like... Oh. Most of the drivers bond during practice. We've been helping each other, which is how it should be, really. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. It's a She's still while. single. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes, 
things are a little more frosty. You had to give yourself any advantage that you could. I feel bad because I could help you so much, but I'm also trying to make it a competition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I, I could be very ruthless on track. I have a different side to me. Why did that happen? Again, no counter steering. But I think th there was a drift, right? Uh, kind of. Have you done GT racing? No. In average, everyday life, I'm a very, I feel like a kind person. I'm not a mean, ruthless person. I am packing my lunch to go to work. For my second week at Renault F1. <laughs> Work bag, gym bag. <laughs> Welcome to Renault F1. Obviously a beautiful reception area. You can see Fernando Alonso's world championship winning car. I came to be here through the Infinity Engineering Academy. I have a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering. And once I finish my training, I will be mostly helping on the composites for the suspension of next year's car. My background in motorsports comes from my dad. He used to race motocross and supercross professionally back in the 80s. And he and my mom didn't want us racing motorcycles, so uh, we got into karting. I drove for the first time when I was about eight, started racing more competitively when I was 10. I have two national championships, three world championships. My earliest memory was when I was a young girl and they were teasing me, oh, you're slow because you're a girl, and that kind of flipped a switch in me, and you just try and focus on your performance and not worry about all the other, um, basically. Back on track, it's time for the ultimate test of car control. Ah. I'm feeling like a... Schnecke? What means Schnecke? Snail? We have what's called the roll car, and you come onto these little dolly trolley wheels, which will, of course, destabilize the car. And the driver then has to use their reactions to regain control. Time for Jess to step up. Saw a demonstration, so I kind of know what to do. So I've never driven this before, so we'll see. It looks really weird. It feels really weird but it's actually a great insight for us when we're doing the evaluation to see how they react as a driver. 